I'm going to go over an example of using the vector and matrix notation in quantum mechanics to calculate an expectation value as we did in lectures. So if we think about um, a quantum harmonic oscillator, which I will as always abbreviate to QHO, and we've been wanting to calculate the expectation value of the position operator in a state psi. Um, in bra ket notation that's written as bra psi x hat ket psi um, and in position representation we would write that as the integral from minus infinity to infinity um, dx because we're integrating with respect to x of psi star of x x psi of x um, and in vector notation we would write that as c dagger remember c is going to be a vector containing the coefficients of um, the state psi in whatever basis we've chosen multiplied by x that's the matrix representation of the operator multiplied by the vector c um, and i'm assuming that we're working in the eigenbasis throughout this little webcast so let's consider as we did in the lectures a state psi um, which is written as one over root three times ket zero plus root 2 over root 3 times the ket of 1. Um, so what that means is that we're taking two of the eigenstates of the quantum harmonic oscillator, um, the one where n equals 0 and the one where n equals 1, um, and we're combining them. The matrix representation of the operator x is given by bra k x hat ket n, um, and if you use the raising and lowering operators, you can show that that's equal to 1 over root 2 alpha into the square root of n plus 1 delta k n plus 1 plus root n delta k n minus 1. So that's an off-diagonal uh, matrix. And if we're now thinking about um, the vector psi, what we have to remember is that ket 0 is equivalent to the ket of phi 0 um, and phi 0 of x is equal to bra x ket phi 0 um, which you can show in a number of different ways sorry that shouldn't be a an e that should be a 0 um, n 0 that's the normalization constant e to the minus alpha squared x squared over 2. So you can show that in a number of different ways. You can solve the first order, the, the second order differential equation for the quantum harmonic oscillator, or you can derive it from the raising operator, from the, the lowering operator rather. Um, and ket1 um, is equivalent to phi1, uh, where phi1 of x is bra x ket phi1, and that's n1 times 2x, which is the Hermit polynomial times e to the minus alpha squared x squared over 2. Um, and ket 0 is the first basis vector, uh, and ket 1 is the second basis vector. So if you want to think about it, we would write in vector notation um, We would write c is equal to 1 over root 3 e1 hat, um, where e1 just represents the first basis vector, plus root 2 over root 3 e2 hat. Um, so if you want to make an analogy, though it has to be very carefully made because we are not doing this, if you want to make an analogy to, say, three-dimensional vectors in Cartesian space, then e1 would be the vector along x and e2 would be the vector along y. Um, and of course we can write this in vector notation as we'll take the 1 over root 3 outside we have a 1 and a root 2 and then we have 0 um, and those zeros continue on forever because remember this is an infinite basis so now let's think about how we um, actually evaluate the expectation value x hat um, psi uh, that's going to equal well we need the transpose of c so we need bra c which is 1 over root 3 into a row vector, 1, root 2, 0. Um, and notice that I'm stopping at 0. There are actually further entries, but they're all naught. Um, then we have the matrix, which is 1 over root 2 alpha um, into 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, root 2, and 0, root 2, 
zero again. Remember that that matrix continues on. I realize I've just written a zero where there should be actually a two. Um, so there's the root two. Um, and now we need ket of psi, or ket, which is the c vector, which is one over root three, into one root two, zero. I'm going to take the two factors of 1 over root 3 to the left hand side as long with the 1 over root 2 alpha. So I'm going to have 1 third multiplied by 1 over root 2 alpha. I'm going to have the row vector 1 root 2 0. Um, and then I'm going to have the result of acting with the matrix on the column vector. Um, so the first entry is the first row 0 1 0 multiplying 1 root 2 naught which gives me root 2. The second entry is 1, 0, root 2, acting on 1, root 2, naught, which gives me 1. And the third entry is 0, root 2, 0, acting on 1, root 2, 0, which is 2. Um, and now if I multiply that out, I get 1 third multiplied by 1 over root 2 alpha into, um, and now I have to evaluate this inner product, I've got root 2 plus root 2 plus 0. So overall, we get 2 root 2 over 3 multiplying 1 over root 2 alpha, or 2 over 3 alpha. Because the quantum harmonic oscillator has a ground state where n equals 0, it's probably quite confusing seeing the first basis function labeled as ket 0. Um, if you want to use this notation of E1 and E2, as I have for the basis vectors, that may help you. Um, please go over this example. Also try doing the second example we did in class, where instead of having um, 1 over root 3, 0, and root 2 over root 3, 1, we substituted a 2 for the 1. Um, and if you want to, you could also try other combinations. Make sure they're always correctly normalized.